Welcome back. In this video, I'll finally get started on the build of this workshop. So the first thing I need to do is put the base plates down on these piers. And here they are here. It's 16 millimeter plate, which is quite thick. I need to drill four holes in each one. And given the thickness, I decided to buy a magnetic drill to do this. So here it is here. Um, it comes with its own lube system and what you use is these annular drills and you can see it's sort of like a hole saw and it just makes drilling a lot easier because it doesn't drill out the core and it produces quite a clean hole and there's also that center pin that uh, is what controls the loop system so just mark this out I, I decided I'm gonna just do the first plate just to see how it drills and I've got to say this magnet is unbelievably strong so you can use this at any angle it does come with a strap um, because obviously if it's upside down and you lose power it's going to drop um, so I'll give it a go if you look closer you'll see the center is not drilling out as I said it drills quite quickly and you do have to be careful of those sharp burrs that are coming off You can see that hole on the left there, just how, how clean it is. Now once I had the first one drilled, I get my oxy out and I decide I'm going to cut all the plates. Now I use an, a new oxy tip and just to make things a bit easier, I install a hose clamp, and which is just a few cents. And I use that as a bit of a guide. So you can see I just rest the plate there and that hose clamp allows me to keep the height consistent and I end up with a nice clean cut. Once they were cut I just took a little bit of cleaning up with the grinder and they were ready to go. Now with them all cut, I use that first plate as a template just for mainly for consistency to make sure I drilled them as similar spacing and it didn't really matter I suppose. And there was about 80 holes and you can see the plugs that come out and um, I got through the whole lot with just one drill and that's actually the last hole with one drill bit so it, it worked awesome. Now the loop system is pretty simple as you push down that center pin goes up and it releases the lube. With all the plates drilled, I'll come up with the first challenge, which is this hillside. And it's something I, I didn't plan on doing, but the problem is if I build this frame, I really won't have very much access to get behind here. So I need to trench this out. I need to slope it down and it needs to go down the existing drain at the back there. Uh, because in the winter, this is a real problem with water collection. Now I didn't film all of this, but you can see I've excavated the hill back here. I've got the Rio in. I've formed it up and it's ready for concrete. And in the center there, I've placed the board. Uh, the bottom of that board is the bottom of the trench. And I've done that uh, just so that it's a guide because the angle at the far end there is not that steep at all. And, and it's gonna be too hard without having some sort of guide like that. I've joined the Rio across, so as you can see there, and it's got at least 40 mil cover and I'll put some diagonal bits on sharp corners to try to reduce the likelihood of cracking. Our truck arises, it's about five and a half cubic meters of concrete. It, I decided to go with 25 megapascal concrete. Uh, it was quite a hot day, it was nearly 30 degrees, which is getting up there. And because of the slopes, it was, it was a bit more work than what I expected and finishing it was a bit of a challenge. So, um, it took a bit longer than expected, uh, but it did turn out well. The slope was right, and uh, you know, but I was I was exhausted to be honest. Uh, finishing it became a bit difficult as well because it started to set off. So what I did is covered it with plastic. I left it for about a week to cure or slow the curing down. You can see under here I've got like a brush finish. Well, there it is with all the formwork taken off. I'm really happy with this. Um, this drain here probably doesn't make any sense 
but there is some logic to it it's, it's really just the backup so it's it's uh it's hard to explain but if the main drain blocks up it'll build up and then it will go down here and this is still a lower point than what the workshop's going to be so the finish is not perfect but what i did do you can see i tidied it up a little bit um with a concrete grinding wheel just to get the slope exactly the way i wanted it and it all slopes nicely down to the end there so as i said earlier it's a job i didn't really want to do i'm glad it's done and whilst the finish isn't perfect it really does match how i want this to be and in a bit more of a rustic feel so once you see the style of uh workshop i build it all makes sense so finally it's going to be time to start the actual build which seems to have taken forever so i'll get into that in the very next video see you soon